Good morning, guys. I like, literally just woke up. Um, the reason why I'm actually showing you why just after waking up is listen, just listen very closely. There's an actual chicken. Like, there's an actual chicken. Did you hear that? There's an actual chicken next door to me. It's what's the time? There we go. It is 36 minutes past five, which means it's what 20, 24 minutes to yeah, 24 minutes to six in the a.m. And there's a chicken that's going off, making everybody up. That's very interesting. And I, the, the thing is, I stay in a very, very urban area. It's like super urban, right? Good morning, guys. So, it's a Monday morning in Pretoria. And it's quite a warm day. Uh, it was raining the whole weekend, so it's nice to have... You know that smell after rain? It's like an amazing smell where you like, walk out and just go... That's good, it's a good smell, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually walking in the streets of Joburg. Probably not the safest thing, I guess. But uh, it's pretty cool, actually. I haven't really ever walked in the streets of Joburg before. The building is really high. I'm actually, at the moment, going down, as you can see. This elevator has actually got gold. It's like, pretty fancy, even as an old bow. But literally going down. It's like this, this is the old JSE building in Bromfontein in Johannesburg. It's pretty cool. I'm busy walking in town at the moment, thinking of doing a breakfast run. Well, it's actually lunchtime now, so it's like, we're just going after 12. So we're going to do a uh, lunch run. Check out the bull by the bulls. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's not, it's not the bull by the, by the bulls, it's the bull by the horns. Oops, I tried. Having lunch right now. That's the most epic burger ever. Check it out. Yes, and a local beer. This is like one of the nicest beers in South Africa. It's brewed in Cape Town. It's awesome. This is like a match made in heaven. So it's Friday evening, which means not, not drinking, but I'm actually at my sister's restaurant. Yes, I have a sister. She's in grade 10, and she has a restaurant evening. And she, she's in high school still, yeah, as I say, grade 10. And she's in Praate Alpha Park High School. And what I see, you must check this out, Praate Alphen Park is probably one of the only government schools in South Africa to have an industrial, to have two industrial sized kitchens. It's insane, I'll show you guys, check this out. Kitchen one. And kitchen two. How epic is that? Here's my sister. Nicole, what's up? <laughs> Like, yeah, that's her. Okay, and I'm actually in the restaurant now. Check us out. I just had dinner. It was really epic. My sister cooked. She made, the, she made a dessert. You saw her earlier. Yeah. Freaking epic. Really nice. Very tasty. Oh, you gotta check the statue. It's like missing a head. Dum 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 Check, it's like random graffiti, but it's allowed. <laughs> These are actually boards for graffiti. So I decided to go exploring. I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed, but I am. I guess if I get caught now, it's too late, I really am. So I'm actually just walking around. It's super dark here, actually. Like, look, you can't even see my face anymore. I literally had to stop there for a light because it's so dark. Everything's off. Yeah, something. It's like a building. Check, this building is literally shaped like like a hexagon no maybe maybe even a, a octagon hang on i'll check now from that side there's some lights here so i actually can see check this out some cool anime that's that's pretty cool going into a tunnel right now let's have a look Ugh, it's all creepy and scary it's like a horror movie you know I'm actually busy walking right now, hoping that I don't get killed. Check, it's like super creepy. It's crazy. Oh my word, you like, you know those really long passages? Like in a horror movie? It's one of them like, right, let's have a walk, let's have a walk here right now. This could be cool. I can watch. What is that? It's like, it's like literally, no, I'm actually going to zoom in so you guys can see. Is there anything there? There's like nothing there. So I've decided that 
high schools are pretty scary when you school in general at night in the day it's just this prison i guess but at night check it out it's pretty damn spooky they're walking around i'm literally walking around here by myself you never know what could could happen no no maybe in maybe a a colony of algebra will come and attack me. I mean, it's, it's, it's a school. The possibilities are endless. You know? Might get attacked and stabbed by a poem. <laughs> you know? I don't know what to do. I could literally get stabbed by a poem. Probably. It's a school. You never know. I, hope I, can, I can't even see where I'm walking. That's how dark it is. There we go. There's some light. Yeah, there's some light. Guys, this is my fourth day here. Zombie apocalypse is just. It's just ruined everything. I mean, all my mates have died. I mean, I, I, I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. I mean, it's just it's so messed up. I mean, but look. Ah, psych! But this place is pretty scary at night. I can definitely tell you that. There's a zombie apocalypse. I will not be surprised. At all. There are paintings around the school. It's pretty cool. Way better than things I could ever do. I mean, check some of these art. Let me show you. I mean, check this art. That's pretty cool, man. Wow, that's like seriously morbid, but really cool at the same time. It's like Tim Burton. It's weird, but somehow very, very awesome. Yes, now that's what I'm talking about. Mr. Slash right there. Check this. I don't know if you can see this very clearly. It's quite dark here. It looks like actually the guy from Green Day, doesn't it? I hope you can see it. It's quite dark. Jeez, guys. So I've been showing you some of these paintings on the walls. Check how crazy this one is. It's actually quite scary, you know, like like World War II concentration camp. Check there. Let me see if I can focus better. There we go. That's weird. Very cool, very weird. Okay guys, so here's the deal. So a security guard is we walking around just now. He says I'm not allowed to walk around the school, apparently. It's not allowed. So I've got to leave, but I'll see you guys later. <music> Greetings, fellow human beings. And this week's topic of discussion is our internal body clocks. I tell you, when that chicken woke me up earlier this week, it got me thinking. How does it work? How do we wake up every single morning when the sun rises? Or at least used to, not six hours after the sun rises at 11 or 12 in the day. But nonetheless, how does it work? So I did some digging. To figure this out, we first need to know what the circadian rhythm is and how it works. According to the National Institute of General Medical Sciences, circadian rhythms are physical, mental and behavioural changes that follow a roughly 24-hour cycle, responding primarily to light and darkness in an organism's environment. They are found in most living things including animals, plants and many tiny microbes. The study of circadian rhythm is called chronobiology. It also says that the biological clocks that control circadian rhythms are groupings of interacting molecules and cells throughout the body. A master clock in the brain coordinates all the body clocks so that they are all in sync. Now, the rotation of the earth and our internal circadian clocks is what naturally controls our bodies. The center of all this goodness, the whole master clock thing, is located in a bundle of nerves called the suprachiasmatic nucleus. Yes, wrap your head around that word, or SCN for short, suprachiasmatic Nucleus, or SCN. I'm gonna go with SCN, it's much easier to say. This is situated in the hypothalamus. In the brain! An article written by Claudia Kaup from the Smithsonian Magazine stated, This central clock acts as a pacemaker, synchronizing other cellular clocks that scientists believe exist throughout the body. This circadian clock system controls a variety of functions, including body temperature, hormone secretion, and blood pressure. But with any clock, it needs to be wound up and in our case on a daily basis it is reset by sunlight in the day and darkness you guessed it at night here is something really interesting that i actually found it seems that the obesity epidemic could be as a resulting factor of our alarm clocks yes our alarm clocks in the morning 
This is according to Professor Till Runeberg at the University of Munich's Institute of Medical Psychology. Lack of sleep causes high secretions of ghrelin, the appetite hormone, and reduction of leptin, the satiety hormone. In other words, feeling full. And of course, that means we do wake up earlier than what we meant to wake up because obviously you would wake up at the time that your alarm goes off. And it's not like we're going to sleep early in the evenings. We go to bed really late and then we wake up really early. The Huffington Post had a very interesting article in which they stated that our clocks, as in our phones and in any other device, can be set for daylight savings. However, our bodies cannot adjust that easily. And thus, sleeping problems such as jet lag are actually considered circadian rhythm disorders. Because most genes operate on internal clocks, messing with your sleep could adversely affect almost all of your genes including those that control body temperature, blood sugar, and appetite as previously stated. If you rewind, you will see. I, 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 I did mention appetite. I'm pretty sure I did. Yo, babe! Where are these naked photos of Jennifer Lawrence? Bring me a shell phone! But babe, but babe, this is everything does it count. You know, you know what? You know what? I ain't got time for this. I'm leaving. No, but babe, please don't go. You know what? If you, you know what? If you wanted me to stay, you would have got couples counseling. But babe, I'm shy. You know that. Oh, you know what? Dr. Green is good. He could have got you out of your shell. You don't care. You don't care. So, in this modern world, with the pace of, well, basically life, we are literally messing up our internal body clocks. Because even artificial light messes with our internal clocks. If you think about it, you're supposed to be going to sleep when the sun sets, wake up when the sun rises, but artificial light keeps you going until 3 o'clock in the morning. This video right now, it is 2 minutes past 2 in the morning, and I'm shooting this video for you guys when I should be sleeping. So artificial light definitely does mess with it. And of course, with genes affecting the immune system, people are contracting illnesses because of an inefficient internal body clock. But now the question is, how do we rectify this? Well, a few sources I found said that doing something as simple as going camping will actually rectify it. Because when you go camping, you're, have you noticed, if you've ever been camping, you will notice you go to sleep and you go, wow, it must feel so late. You check your time, you go, oh, it's 10 past 7 in the evening. And then you wake up when the sun rises. So actually going camping resets your internal body clock. Getting in touch with nature to boost your natural body clock. I think that is why we feel so relaxed when we come back from camping. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. It's true. And then, of course, after a lovely weekend camping, we get back to work on a Monday morning where we set our alarm clocks which wake us up. At that point, when you get to work, work starts at 8 for example, and at quarter past 8 you go, yep, that's it, I could do with another holiday. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I could do with another holiday. Or even, gosh, that holiday was just so short. Dude, it was a month. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed these videos. If you did, please subscribe and like them and comment. My question for this week is, what is your sleeping pattern like? What time do you go to sleep and wake up? Or even easier, how many hours of sleep do you get on an average night? And remember, as always, if you can't be good, be careful. See you guys next week.